Hi everyone, Mary Ann Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts. It is December the 1st. Crazy, how crazy is that? All right, I found myself. Whoopsie. All right, so today begins my 12 days of Christmas. So each day for the next 12 days, I'm gonna be featuring some kind of product or project that would be good for Christmas. Before I do that, just a reminder that my winter stamp camp, the early bird registration deadline was yesterday, but I think I'll let it go just till the end of this week. Information on my website. It is a really, really fun full day. Well, normally it will be at my house, but it's gonna be virtual. And it's 14 cards, a treat holder, and a 3D project. It's always really, really fun. And it will be featuring all new products. Oh, I have the catalogs here. So coming up in January are two new catalogs, the January to June. Now they go six months. And wait for it, celebration. I can't show you inside. But once I've done my 12 days of Christmas, then I'll start using projects from the mini catalog. As a demonstrator, we're allowed to start pre-ordering today, actually. I already have some of the products because I went to on stage, um, but the, all demonstrators can start pre-ordering today. And as a demonstrator, you also get the celebration rewards for free. So for those of you who don't know, during celebration, there's a special little catalog and every time you spend $60 before tax and shipping, you get to choose something for free out of this catalog. So demonstrators enjoy that um, perk as well. So mini catalog. So I started to tell you this because Winter Stamp Camp is going to be featuring all products from the new catalog. And oh my gosh, there are so many pretty things. There are so many pretty papers in there. I'm not gonna show them today, but um, once I'm done my 12 days of Christmas, um, that's what I'll be playing with. And also, Life is Beautiful class is now posted on my, well, you can go to my website and go to events. Um, I sent out an email if you're on my um, demonstrator website. So we're going to be using Life is Beautiful and you get this stamp set free with your $40 class purchase because you can't do the class without the stamp set. And I think everyone should have this stamp set in their little stash. It's, it's just so pretty. So these are the car, some of the cards we will be making. Um, this one is snow winter. This one is kind of spring. It's so cool. Um, that's just stamped one time, but the way they've designed the stamp is it has all the different variations in color. Here's another one. And here is something you can do. We're not making this one. Um, we'll do another, I have an idea for another one that we'll be doing. Hi, Wanda. Oh, you put in your pre-order. So fun. So fun. So, but we still have a lot of beautiful products to work with. So today we're going to be using the one that we used yesterday. So this is what we made yesterday. We made this cute card. It's a gift card holder. I do realize that's a bit crooked. I just love this paper. And then we made a matching box that has a little Debbie's um, Christmas tree brownie in it, or cake maybe, I don't know what they are. So that's what we made yesterday. Today we're going to be making another kind of bag type thing and a card. Hi, my Nick and Barb. All right, so we're gonna, here's how I decided what to make today. I looked over and I had a stack of these little pieces and some cardstock, and I thought, huh, I'll just use those up. So that's how I decided what to do today. So both cards are going to feature the wreath. I've gone ahead and done some of the prep work ahead of time. So this is gonna be our inside. And this is just the white insert. Okay, that's gonna drive me crazy. So let's go ahead and put that in because the way I designed this card 
is I just did the regular cut and then I cut an inch off. So it's only seven and a half because I wanted to put just this little strip here so that it matches the bag that we're going to make. That's totally why I did that. So just put this right to the edge. See? And then you can see when you close it, you can see a little strip of this. I don't even think this, this is soft sea foam. I don't even think it's one of the coordinating colors for this paper, but it has so many shades of green in it that it looks perfect. So then this piece is three inches by five and a quarter, and I've embossed it using the Planks embossing folder. So I'm just gonna make sure that these are lined up at the top. All right. Now I'm gonna need glue dots and my pokey tool. All right, so now we're gonna to put together the wreath. I have all these little pieces here. And it's going to go on the front. Well, we'll see, you'll see. Now, last time when I did my wreaths and when I did my wreath class, I cut one, I cut it and wove it in and out. And I actually like doing that. I think it makes an interesting design. Now, I've also gone ahead and taken each leaf and bend, bent it so that it gives it a more 3D effect. Hello, Phyllis. So I think I want this one on the top. So I don't want white on white, so I'll put this one. Yeah, it definitely, I think it definitely looks better when you weave it in and out. And I have some little pokey things. I'm not gonna worry about them too much because you're not gonna be really able to see them. So I'm gonna start with a glue dot. And wherever you wanna start is good. Uh, no, it's not what I wanted to do because I don't want the white on the back. So the glue dot needs to go on the white. That again. No. All right, how many times am I going to try this? Okay. We'll just leave that other one because it will, the other one will go over top. So you just kind of go in and out. I don't know why that took me so long to figure out, but. All right, so we're just going to weave in and around until we get it where we want it. Making sure that it still kind of keeps its circular shape. It didn't quite make it to the end. All right, and now we'll take this one and do the same. And I'll just use that little glue dot that I have. Now make sure your leaves are all going the same way. That's the really only thing you have to think about. I just think this wreath set is so pretty and it's so useful because you can make it Christmas. This could be like a birthday, it could be anything. All right, close enough. I don't mind if there's a little gap there because we're going to be adding some things to the corner of, or I guess there's not really a corner. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on because it'll be easier to add the little things that I want to add. I hope this set carries over. I think we'll find out maybe next week what's going to carry over. Now I could put it centered here, but I'm going to put it, hmm, I don't want it hanging off my card. So I'm just going to go like this. And then I can add more glue dots later if it's not holding very well. All right, now I'm going to put a little house and a little tree. Yeah, the woven looks really nice. I know wreaths don't usually have a little scenery in them, but this one does. So let's just go ahead and put this on. When you weave it, it really makes it look 3D, I have to say. All right, so 
I'm just using glue dots to attach these. And I'm going to put my little house. I want it kind of in the center. And I think the glue dots, and I can go back later and attach more glue dots if I think it needs it. Little house. I'm just seeing if I like it first. And then a little bow. I like it. And I don't see a spot for that. So I'm going to leave it off. And now I'm going to add it. Because I think it looks cute right there. Okay. So that's our card. We could also put a tree in here. So I keep all the little extras in a little bag. And then I just and I, then I just pull them out when I think I need them. So I think I'll just put a big tree right in the corner here. Just kind of to tie it together. And you could do a whole little scene if you wanted to. All right, let's get rid of all this stuff. Because sometimes when I have the paper and I'm cutting out the dies, it's easier to just cut one of everything. But you do end up with a whole bunch of stuff. I'm just going to add one little glue dot up to the corner there. There. Oh, I think that's cute. But it doesn't need Wink of Stella. Okay, so I'm going to put Wink of Stella on this tree. And this little tree. You could put it on the house too. I could have done a wreath as well. Forgot about that. Sometimes simple is better. All right, so that's our little card. That turned out actually quite cute. Now we're going to do something to go with it. So I'm going to grab my scoring tool. So I have a piece of the same designer paper that I want to match it to. So I want it to go this way. This one, I'm going to flip it over. So I'm doing it at four. It's eight and a half by eight. So I want it at four and eight and two. That's it. So four, eight, and then two. And so we have a little half inch piece here. I think that's right. I'm doing it off of this one that I had. So I'm trying to remember actually how I made it. So hopefully it will turn out. It's a cool little design of a box. And I was going to do it in cardstock, but I thought I'll do it in designer series paper because it's so pretty. Although it gets to the point where you don't want to use up all your designer series paper because it doesn't typically come back the next year and I so love this paper. Now with cart with when you're using designer series paper, be a little more gentle than you would if you were using cardstock. Now let's see if I can remember how to make this. So you're just cutting up. Um, forgot this part so you need to go at two inches and six inches so you need to go every two inches but the other ones just up to where the fold line was you're seeing how good my memory is so now we'll be able to cut all four little panels <laughs> I knew as I was looking at it to put it together it's like uh, something's missing and then this one just gets cut right off. So 
The other thing I'm going to do before I put it together is I'm going to fold it in half and I want to make this little handle. So I have my one inch punch and I'm just going to try to put it in the middle. You can do this after, but it's easier to do it at this point. Then I'm going to use the back of this paper is so bright. I can use tear and tape, or you could use seal plus. I have better luck with tear and tape these days. And you want to make sure you put it close to the fold, not the edge. Otherwise you'll have a bit of a gap. down there. All right, get my little pokey tool. And just peel this off. And then you just fold that in and then fold this over and it should fit perfectly. Now I like to make it so that my seam, which is right there, is going to be at the back of my box. So this box is as simple as two, four, six, eight, and the paper's eight and a half. And then you can make it as tall as you want, um, or you can make the sizes. I've made it with one inch ones as well. So I want this one to go to the back. So I think it's called, uh, who knows what it's called? Um, I don't know what it's called. Okay, I'm just gonna use Seal, actually. Uh, I can't think. Sour cream bucket or something. So I'm just kind of trying to square it up there. You can see where the it requires glue and then just add it. And then I like to take my bone folder and then just go in and make sure that it's all nice and sturdy. It's funky. And there you go. So now we're going to decorate it. So I originally had designed to put this right on, but you can't really see it. Well, we'll make up our little wreath and then we'll see what's going to happen. And for quickness sake, I might just weave one of them. I probably should have done this one ahead of time. Oh, that one's already woven. Yay. All right. So let me just add this one. Uh, glue dots. Like I said, these were extras from a project. So some of it was already done. So we'll just start here. I'm kind of offsetting it from the one I already have on there. And just doing a little bit of a weave. I'm not going to do much. Just so they get, you get the color in and around. Really is basically all you're wanting to do. Okay, I'm going to leave that like that. And... No, I'm going to weave one more time. Otherwise it doesn't look right. And with this big bigger piece you just just find a little spot that it can tuck between all right that's good enough so originally I was just going to put it right on but you can't really see it and this isn't a flat surface so I went to plan B so I found a little piece of vellum I thought oh that's cute actually it is kind of cute and then I found the largest of the uh, Hippo and Friends dies, but now that I'm looking at it, I kind of like the vellum Because we are gonna have it hanging off Okay, we're gonna do vellum I've changed my mind so many times on this Okay, so I'm just gonna add a couple of little glue dots. I like the vellum because you can see through it and The paper is so pretty and it coordinates with the card. So we do want to see some of it So I'm just adding some glue dots you know I love glue dots. Okay. 
So I'm going to put it on an angle because I kind of like that. And there. I'm liking it. Now, I probably should have done this before, but I'm just taking my old 1 8 inch Stampin' Punch or use whatever you have. We used to have these, but we don't anymore. Now for this one, I have a different little house. Isn't this one cute? I actually fussy cut this one. It was on the paper, the piece of paper that had the big scenery. Okay, so it's gonna go down here. I might need to secure that a little better. So I'm just gonna not even push it down yet because I wanna see what else I have here. So I have this tree and one little cutout one. And then I have this, which is from the paper as well. And it's that one sheet that has all the little greetings on it. And it says, from our home to yours. And there's a little house, so I thought that would be cute. Okay, so I like that. I'm just putting one glue dot on for now, just so I can see if I like it. And we might, I don't know how we're going to put that on or, oh, I put glue dots on these already. Okay, I'm just going to put one more behind this part of the house because that, we didn't have paper on the other one. Hmm, I'm not sure I like that anymore. Or if I just want a ribbon. Let's try a bow and see. This is the new braided linen trim. Braided mossy meadow. Braided linen trim. I love the thickness of this linen trim. So now we have it in red right now in the Christmas in the mini catalog. We have it in like crumb cake, I guess and Mossy Meadow. Yeah, I think I like the bow better than this. We might find somewhere to put that, but um, what am I looking for? Glue dots. So let's go ahead and add a little bow and then it'll match the card as well. All right, now, oh, that's so cute. Yeah, we could put it up here. Okay, wait, wait till we're done. Now, I think I'm going to use linen thread to attach this. And you could put a, you could put a piece of paper on the back, actually, and do your message. But you're, you're giving it with a card, so I don't really think that's necessary. Okay, and I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this, so I'm going to keep it pretty long. And I was thinking of using this ribbon, which I really like. It's a little busy, but I haven't used it much. So we're going to try. Um, this might all change in a minute, but here's what I'm thinking. So we got our little knot, and then we're going to pull this through and tie a nice bow on the top. Yep, that'll work. There's also really thick ribbon from one of the sets that we could use but I kind of like this stuff and it, it does tie nice bows and this is a fairly good size so you could definitely it, it's a good size for fitting some little candies or a small stocking stuffer yeah that's nice All right, it's easy to cut on an angle because it's got stripes. I'm just gonna trim this. It could go a bit higher, I guess. It's, it's fine. Oh yeah, we were gonna put this on. Let's just add a couple of glue dots and see if it looks nice on the top. And then we'll be done.
So there's our little box. And here is our matching. Oh, I do have one extra little tree here, so let's just throw it on the inside. All right. So there we have our cute little, oh, there's another tree. I'm just gonna leave it. Oh, look at Stella. I'm gonna add it to the wreath and just to this little tree. I did add it yesterday too to the windows. It looked kind of cool. All right, oh, the smoke. All right, so a cute little treat box with a matching card. Cute. So I think someone would like to, yes, a great housewarming. Oh, that would be so cute as a housewarming. That's a great idea. All right. I don't know anyone who's moving into a new, actually my sister is moving into a new house. She might like that. So that's my project for today. And tomorrow, it'll be day two of the 12 days of Christmas. So I hope you'll join me at three o'clock and we'll make Tomorrow I think we're going to make um, a larger bag and a card that goes, you can put right on the front of the bag. Um, because we have so much really pretty paper that's nice when you flip it over, it's nice on, nice on both sides. All right, and as I said, you could make this out of regular cardstock. That's what I did for this one. And I actually stamped snowflakes on it. I think this was from one of our last stamp camps actually. Well, obviously that's not the finished one, but Anyways, thank you for joining me today, and I hope you enjoyed these projects. I do appreciate it if you like or share my videos. And I will post, well, the only, I'll post measurements so you know how to measure this. This is regular, and I just cut off an inch, so it's seven and a half instead of eight and a half. And then the, I'll put the measurements for the box on as well. All right, thanks for joining me today. I hope to see you tomorrow. Don't forget if you want to sign up for Winter Stamp Camp, um, do it by the end of the week to get the early bird pricing. And also the Life is Beautiful card class, including the stamp set. Um, go here and click on events. All right, thanks for joining me today and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great evening, everyone.